Hey, what's up? It's Jason Yun, Improvement Warrior Fitness, LBN, onlinefitness.com. In the kitchen again, I'm going to take you through basically a day in the life of me in ketosis. So, uh, it's my second meal today, so I have my first meal, it's, uh, it's 10.04, and I'm having my second meal here today. So I've got three tablespoons of ghee cooking up. Uh, first meal today, I had um, some bulletproof tea, uh, red tea. So kind of my my take on it. Um, I'll link that video up. But uh, basically, just two tablespoons um, grass-fed butter, two tablespoons or organic coconut oil. And now I've got the three tablespoons of ghee cooking up. And I'll give you my macros and everything at the end of the day once I figure everything out. Uh, I'm gonna have three eggs, some arugula, some uh, Korean cabbage here, and yep, I'll show that to you when I cook everything up. But going to test test my uh, ketosis level with the ketonics. So I made another video about this, but I'll just do it real quick here. 30 seconds, blow into it. It'll tell you uh, depending on what color how deep in ketosis you are. All right, so we wait. Yo, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one. Okay. Bathrooms. One, two, three, four, five. So, five yellow. All right, and we'll measure that throughout the day, see how we go throughout the day. So, yellow is intermediate, red is high, green is low level of ketones, and blue is, means you're not in ketosis at all. So um, I'll finish cooking this meal up. I'll show you what I'll be doing. Uh, I'm going to add some extra fat on it as well, but uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we got the three eggs cooking up. I'm going to add my pink Himalayan sea salt. So on the ketogenic diet, salt is very important. Because when you're eating a high carbohydrate diet, your body tends to, or your kidneys tend to hold on to uh, the salt a little more, making you a little bit more bloated, but when you're low carb, your body, your kidneys tend to excrete excess sodium, so you want to make sure your sodium is high, because that is an electrolyte, it's very important on the diet. So I'll let those cook up, add some black pepper, uh, sometimes I'll add oregano and um, Tabasco and um, red pepper as well, but not today. And then the vegetables I'm going to have today, I'm going to have... Uh, one baby bella mushroom, some baby arugula, and then some Korean cabbage. And we'll put some spices on that. I'll probably put um, the Himalayan sea salt again, and then we'll probably go with uh, turmeric and possibly some garlic. But, uh, yep, that's it. And then I'm going to add some extra fat in the vegetables. I'll show you what I do with that. All right, so cooking up the vegetables now. Another few minutes on that. Arugula, Korean cabbage, mushroom, all that good stuff. Want to make sure I get the uh, ghee all soaked up and lathered on the vegetables. That's what makes it taste good. That tastes good. That tastes remarkable. If you've never had ghee, highly recommend it. Excellent source of fat, excellent source of uh, saturated fat, which is the preferred source for your brain and your heart. Even more so than carbohydrates, glucose. Don't need carbohydrates. Eat fat. All right, so vegetables are done. And then what I'm doing is I'm just taking an extra teaspoon, extra virgin olive oil, dropping it on top of there. So all told, four tablespoons of cooking fat. So Kirkland Organic, Costco's brand. Um, so 28, 56, 56 grams of fat just from the cooking oils, not counting the eggs. Uh, again, I'll have the macros at the end of this video. All right, so after the meal is uh, supplement time. So I usually do supplements three times, uh, three times a day, morning or after my first meal meal. Um, about four or five in the evening and then before bed. 
So what I take uh, now, I just take a, whoa, you're not even seeing that, uh, multivitamin, whole foods multivitamin from Thorn FX. So there's one morning, one evening, take three of these in the morning, uh, take one iso omega fish oil, and then I take one uh, advanced joint support. Okay. Um, So from ProGrade on that one. Um, these vitamins I just switched to, I just switched over from ProGrade, but both are very good vitamins. If you're going to find a vitamin, just make sure it's a whole foods vitamin, not a synthetic type of vitamin, um, like with a one a day and that kind of stuff, because uh, it won't be absorbed. Body mm -hmm. liver will reject it as a non-food item. But uh, that's the supplements after the meal. Vitamin D complex. Uh, that's also from Thorn. It's combined with uh, vitamin K2, so D3 and K2. But uh, the morning complex has 2,000 IU of vitamin D in it already. So um, I typically do the vitamin D uh, around that 4 or 5 o'clock meal and then before bed. So.